feeder that we've been using for a while now. It's made from an ice cream bucket and a frisbee. Just bolted together and there's some holes in the bottom of the bucket there so the feed comes out. Now the problem is we have enough hens now that they empty this in less than 24 hours. I filled this yesterday and you can see there's just a little bit left in there. So we need to come up with something different and that something different is going to be a garbage can size feeder that's kind of like an automatic feeder. It's not mechanical or anything but um, you can just put the full bag of feed in there and they're all, all set. In fact I think you can put two or three bags of feed in there if you wanted to. So uh, let's go in the garage and I'll show you the materials that I have and what we need to do next. Okay, we need a garbage can. I'm not sure what size this is. I'm guessing a uh, 30 gallon or so maybe. I'm not really sure. It's about three feet tall. Um, this is one that we already had. I scrubbed it out and cleaned it really well. And I patched a hole on the side right there. So it should be good good to go. You'll also need some elbows, some PVC elbows. These are three inch. Three inch PVC elbows. You want it want the kind that has the uh, male and female ends on it. Um, you want some caps that'll go on the ends here. That's optional, but I'm choosing to do it this way and you'll see why later. You'll need a hole saw. And this is a three and a quarter inch hole saw because when I measured the outer diameter of the pipe, that's what I'll need for that. You'll need some kind of drill, obviously. A marker or something to mark with and something to measure with. And that's about it. Now what we have to do is put this into the bottom of the can. And I don't know if you can see down to the can or not. Get this on the right side here. It's basically going to go in there like that, and we're going to cut the hole in the side of the can so it sticks out that way. So to do that and get the hole in the right spot, we need to measure from the bottom here up to the middle of where the hole would be here for the hole saw. So this measurement about right here is, for these pipes that I have, are three and a quarter inches. So on the garbage can, I need to measure three and a quarter inches from the bottom and make a mark here. And that's where we're going to put a hole. Now what I'm doing with this is putting it in forward to start the hole. But then I'm putting it in reverse because otherwise it grabs too hard and it's too hard to do one-handed. And putting it in reverse um, just cuts a cleaner hole for this kind of plastic. In order to make sure that the feed is actually reachable by the hens, we need to cut a notch on the inner bottom part of this elbow. And I'll show you how to do that.
Okay, those pieces are cut and I've got them in. You can see the light coming through down there to see where the gaps are. Um, some people cut the gaps on the opposite side of that elbow, um, but because of the shape of the bottom of our can, I felt it would be best to put it on the other side. So we'll just have to see how that goes. And here's a look from this way. Okay, I'm going to make a similar cut on this cap. Um, the purpose of that is um, so that when the chicken's going to get the feed, they aren't kind of scooping it and flicking it out of the feeder. This will just have a half circle cut on it like that, and then this bottom part will guard from spilling food. There we go. I'm going to get a file or something and take some of these burrs off of here so the chickens don't get scratched by them, but that should do. Alright, so this is what it looks like when the cats are on. And hopefully the hole is big enough for the chickens to get in there. There's the other one. Now we need to elevate this so it's at the right height for the chickens and then put some feed in it and see how it goes. bags and probably could fit almost another full one in there, right? Probably. You see the feet in there? Yep, there it is. Ready to go. Let's see how long it takes the chickens to notice. <laughs> <laughs> Usually they're pretty observant about that kind of thing, but we'll see. Right, put the lid on. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Alright, so that wasn't too difficult. We've got it in here and got feed in it, just waiting for the chickens to notice it. I don't think it'll take too awful long before they see it in there, but uh, yeah, this is pretty simple. Uh, if you're looking for an easy way to feed your chickens without having to fill a bucket every day, this is a good way. Um, even if you only had a couple of chickens, you could use a smaller container than this and it would probably work pretty good. So uh, I just want to say a special thanks to J&J &J Acres for the idea and for the video that they posted on how to do this. Um, I did it slightly different but I think it'll still work out okay. Now I did take those caps off of there because they looked in there and they weren't getting the food. I think maybe they couldn't fit their heads in there. I probably had the hole a little bit too small for them so I just popped those caps off and um, they can reach in there just fine and get the food. So seems to be working good so far. Um, also, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, do that by clicking the little red button that you see down below there. And check out our other videos and our website at flannelacres.com.
I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Oh. Ha 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 ha!